Valve came out with a new update to Steam, completely upgrading their in-game FPS counter to a tool that now looks at your entire system performance. It just came out in Steam's recent beta update, giving you features like DLSS or FSR frame generation detection so you now know what your real FPS is. It gives you detailed hardware metrics and a customizable overlay. It's a big change compared to their old version and now gives you a lot more useful info. For example, before it was simply just an FPS counter that you could enable in your Steam settings. It would let you choose what corner you would want it in and would simply just be your FPS. While useful for a quick performance check, it offered no insight into why a game is running poorly or how system resources were being used. So after years of having this FPS counter, they have dropped an update that completely changes it, calling it a performance monitor. They have completely expanded it by showing both native and AI generated frames or what are more commonly referred to as fake frames. This is a big talking point a lot of gamers have had in the past few years as this tech has gotten more and more popular, especially with modern GPUs that use this tech to generate extra frames and inflate your FPS, where your actual FPS is a lot lower than what gets shown to you. So now if you are playing a game that uses DLSS, FSR, or any other use of frame generation tech, Steam's new monitor will directly tell you by showing you your generator frames by labeling it in red, and then your actual game frame rate will be right beside it. If you see just one FPS number, that means your game isn't using DLSS or FSR. This is honestly a huge change for gamers, as there has been a pushback for these generated frames, as players have felt like they were getting lied to on performance, so now you will be able to get to see the real numbers. Along with your average FPS, the monitor will also show you your minimum FPS, that is indicated by a down arrow, showing the lowest FPS in the last second, plus there is also the maximum FPS, that is indicated by an up arrow, showing you your highest FPS in the last second. They even now give you an FPS graph, which is a 90 second window with a green line for average FPS and a red line for significant frame rate dips, helping you identify micro stuttering issues. But this new monitor isn't just for FPS. The monitor now also tracks key system metrics, letting you know if you have some performance bottlenecks. It now lets you see your CPU usage, CPU clock speed, GPU usage, GPU temperature, GPU memory, and system RAM usage by the game and other processes. These metrics will help you diagnose issues like a maxed out CPU limiting your GPU performance or full VRAM causing stuttering. Massive changes by Steam completely upgrading their old FPS counter into a full blown performance monitor. So now if you have a problem with any game, you can see what's really going on. You can easily decide what actual features and numbers you want shown. Whether you just want the simple FPS counter like before, maybe you want to see the new graph, or want all the details including your CPU, GPU, and RAM. Along with this, Valve even gives you more customization options. Now you get to completely change the contrast and saturation with a scroll bar to your desired look. And there's even background opacity to make sure you can easily see it. Valve says the new monitor can help you understand your frame rate, and can help you see if your CPU might be your bottleneck or if your GPU is. It can see if you are out of system or video memory, and if those factors are impacting performance as well. It's important to remember this is just in beta, so expect potential bugs and even changes. But if you want to try it out before it officially releases, just make sure you go to your Steam settings, interface, and then client beta participation, select Steam beta update and restart Steam, then go back to settings in game and you should find the new performance monitor. Valve has stated Linux users currently have limited options, but Valve is working on expanding support, as of course, it is only in beta. This wasn't the only recent change they made to Steam, we also talked about their accessibility filters update for the store a few days ago in a previous video. But Valve came out with another accessibility update, this time it added new features for Steam OS. But this is where Valve also said, we're continuing to work to improve the accessibility of Steam on all devices. These new settings are only the first available of the accessibility features we are working on, and we are excited to put even more tools in the hands of our players, mentioning that if you are a player with disabilities, to reach out to them to give feedback and suggestions for more ways to improve the platform. Another Steam W. 
Let me know your thoughts on the new Steam Performance Monitor. I think it's a great change, especially compared to the old FPS monitor. The fact Steam will now tell you your fake frames along with your real frames just shows how Steam is pro-consumer. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all future Valve news.